Dear students, now we are going to discuss important optical parameters in this lecture video. Critical angle, total internal reflection, acceptance angle and numerical aperture. The first one is critical angle. Here we can consider two different media with different refractive indexes N1 and N2. Here N1 is the refractive index of more dense medium that is glass medium. N2 is the refractive index of less dense medium that is air. Okay. So here N2 is always less than N1. That is the first condition. When the light ray is incident at the boundary interface between two media, part of the signal is reflected and the remaining part is refracted with the angle phi 2. When the angle of incidence phi 1 increases, then the angle of refraction will also be increased. Okay, so here if this angle of incidence increases like this, what will happen? Here the refractive angle is getting increased. Okay, so phi 2 is always greater than phi 1. At some angle of incidence, the refracted ray travels along the boundary interface. That is, the angle of refraction phi 2 becomes 90 degree. You all understand this concept? So, that is called as critical angle. So, here the angle of refraction is always greater than angle of incidence. Here the critical angle is defined as the angle of incidence that causes the refracted ray to travel along the boundary interface between two different media with the condition N2 is always less than N1. Okay, so at critical angle here phi1 is equal to phi c, phi2 is equal to 90 degree. Here the refracted ray is traveling along this boundary interface. This is called as critical angle. Okay, next we are going to derive the critical angle using Snell's law. As we all know that Snell's law states that N1 sin phi 1 is equal to N2 sin phi 2. At this critical angle phi 1 becomes phi c and phi 2 is equal to 90 degree. Then we can replace these values in this Snell's law. We can get N1 sin phi c is equal to N2 sin 90 degree. So sin 90 degree is nothing but 1. So, N1 sin phi c is equal to N2. From this we can get phi c is equal to sin inverse of N2 by N1. So, this is the value of critical angle. Okay. So, it is very important we can solve some problems using this formula. Okay. So, the next one is total internal reflection. So, here when the angle of incidence phi 1 is greater than the critical angle then the light ray is totally reflected back into the more dense medium. There is no refraction. This is called as total internal reflection. Do you all understand this concept? So when the angle of incidence is greater than critical angle, then the total signal is reflected back into the more dense medium. Okay. So here, Two conditions for total internal reflections are given here. The first one is refractive index N1 is always greater than N2. That means N1 is nothing but core. N2 is the gliding. So core refractive index is always greater than the gliding index. That is very important point here. Okay. So here core is the glass material that is fiber material. N2 is the gliding. Okay. So the next condition is the angle of incidence is always greater than the critical angle. Okay. And also this particular angle at which that signal is entirely reflected back is also known as acceptance angle. The next one is acceptance angle. In optical fiber communication the light ray enters the fiber at different angles. So here at a particular angle which is greater than the critical frequency, the light ray propagates within this glass medium. Okay, so it is entirely 
propagating inside this core material. That is called as acceptance angle. If the ray which is having the angle of incidence greater than this acceptance angle, it has almost lost its radiation. So it can be lost its radiation outside of this core medium. That is called as acceptance angle. So in order to propagate down the fiber cable, the light ray must incident the interface at an angle phi A which is greater than the critical angle. It is defined as the maximum angle at which the light ray may enter the fiber axis to propagate inside the cable. Okay. So here it is represented as phi A max is equal to sine inverse of square root of n1 squared minus n2 squared. Here n1 is nothing but the refractive index of core. n2 is the refractive index of gliding. Okay. So the next one is acceptance cone. It can be obtained by rotating this acceptance angle with respect to this core axis. Okay. The cone of acceptance angle is the angle within which the light is accepted into the core medium and to travel along the fiber core for better communication. The next one is numerical aperture. It is the important figure of merit of optical fiber which represents the light gathering capability that means light collecting capability of the fiber. It is mainly used to measure the magnitude of the light at acceptance angle. There is a relation between numerical aperture and the acceptance angle. It is given as numerical aperture is equal to sine phi A max. That is the acceptance angle in terms of sine. Okay. So it can be written as numerical aperture is equal to square root of n1 square minus n2 squared by no. This no is nothing but air medium. Its value is always 1. Here N1 is the refractive index of core, N2 is the refractive index of gliding. So that can be represented like this. Numerical aperture is equal to square root of N squared of core medium minus N squared of gliding medium. Okay. The acceptance angle is equal to sine inverse of numerical aperture. So these two are very important formulas. Okay. This numerical aperture depends only on the refractive index of core and refractive index of gliding. Okay. So it can also be represented in terms of the index difference del. So here numerical aperture is equal to n1 into square root of 2 into del where this del is nothing but n1 minus n2 by n1 that is index difference. We can use these two formulas to solve some problems, okay?